To satisfy gamers with different budgets, laptop manufacturers have to either cut costs on existing series or make new ones, aimed at the gamer on a tight budget. Lenovo decided to go with the second option by creating the IdeaPad Gaming series. So, today we will be reviewing the IdeaPad Gaming 3i, a laptop, equipped with Intel processors, indicated by the letter, I, in its name. To keep the price as low as possible, Lenovo goes with an all-plastic design. The chassis weighs 2.25 kilos and has a height of about 24 millimeters. It has good structural integrity with barely any flexing. The keyboard is one of the best features of the device. It has long key travel and clicky feedback with either white or RGB backlighting. There are also big arrow keys and a numpad. For the input, output, you get a USB Type-C 3.2 Generation 1, as well as two Type-A 3.2 Generation 1 ports. There is also a LAN port, HDMI 2.0, and an audio jack. Sadly, there is no Thunderbolt support or an SD card reader but that's expected given the good price. Inside the device, the two available SOTOM slots support up to 64GB of DDR4 RAM in total. Storage-wise, you get one 42mm M.2 slot in addition to an 80mm M.2 slot and a 2.5-inch SATA drive bay. Unfortunately, the 80mm slot and the SATA bay share the same space, so you will have to choose one of the two. If you want to see how to open the laptop, you can check out our teardown video. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. Our unit is equipped with a full HD IPS panel with excellent viewing angles and a good contrast ratio of 1160 to 1. Sadly, the display has only 51% sRGB coverage. The response times are also really slow with a recorded time of 30 milliseconds. Fortunately, the Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3i does not use PWM, which ensures comfort during long work periods. This laptop has a pretty small battery pack with a capacity of 45 watt hours. Despite that, you can get around 7 hours of web browsing and more than 5 hours of video playback, which is not a bad result. You can max out the device with a 35 watts core i7 11390H. For some reason, Lenovo has decided to limit the CPU choice to its H35 Tiger Lake processors, instead of utilizing the higher core count of their H45 CPUs. As for the graphics, you can get up to an RTX 3050 Ti, with a quite generous 90 watts TGP. The Lenovo IdeaPad 3i offers a choice of performance presets through the Vantage app. This lets the RTX 3050 work at a frequency of 2 GHz. Although it heats up significantly, it can run Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands with nearly 50 FPS at very high settings. Designed to test all those who seek the shield. If gets the shield Additionally, the Shadow of the Tomb Raider can be played with more than 40 FPS at high settings. Although it's not the best GPU for triple, eight games, it's still an amazing budget option. On the other hand, you have to keep in mind that the 35 watts quad-core Intel CPUs might be a bottleneck. Overall, the Lenovo IdeaPad 3i has an amazing keyboard and a decent display. And its price makes it one of the hottest gaming laptops on the market right now. However, the device is not without its quirks as we found the included 135 watts charger needs help from the battery to power the 90 watts GPU. If you want to learn more, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.